Versioning is another great feature of Photo Supreme. With versions, you can logically hold your pictures together so you can find them again more easily. For example, you could maintain certain versions for different edits of a photo or have versions that indicate the purpose of the photographs. Think of a print version or a version that you would use to upload to Facebook. Another application could be to logically hold together the RAW and JPEG files that your camera generates. In this way, they are shown only once in your collections. Let's see how we place two photos in a version set. Open an existing collection and select the photo that will become the version. Note that the photo you drag onto will become the main version. The main version is the version that is shown by default in the collection. Now drag the photo onto the other and click OK. You will see that this thumbnail will show two tabs. The asterisk indicates the main version and our picture is now defined as version number one. Let's add another picture. This picture is defined as version number two. Hover over a tab. You will see a panel that slides out. These icons are so-called placeholders. Suppose this is the version you want to use to print. We select the printer and bingo! When you print, this version will be used. The asterisk makes this version the main version. You can use the X to remove this version from your version set. Photo Supreme allows you to create and use your own placeholders. To do this, go to the Preferences and select Catalog. Below, you will find the list of existing placeholders. The checked placeholders are marked active. In order to change its name, double-click on the field. To choose your own icon, click on this field. The first five placeholders cannot be deleted. The rest can be removed by clicking on the X. Click here if you want to add a new placeholder. When you're finished, click Apply and your placeholders are now ready to use. If your camera is set in such a way that both a RAW file and a JPEG file will be saved, you can use this in Photo Supreme when you import your photos. In the Import section, you will find the option Apply Versioning. Make sure it is on. You can choose whether the RAW file or the JPEG will be used as the main version. This will be the version that will be displayed in your collections. We leave this option unchanged. Optionally, you can also give your version a placeholder. For example, if at all times you want your RAW file to be used when printing. We choose Print here. You can now save your changes for when you want to reuse it later.